Welcome to this excellent Intro to HTML web video series. This video I want to talk about the basic two column layout. This is going to be kind of the structure that you'll build on for uh, almost any web design that you do. And you're going to do it slightly differently from time to time. You might use fixed layouts, you might use fluid layouts, you might use absolute positioning, you might do all kinds of things. But this one I'm going to show you a very simple and uh, very lightweight, in other words, uh, very little code way of doing a two column layout. We're going to start with a header, a footer, a nav, and then two columns which are going to hold different types of content. So I'll start by throwing in the header and the nav and the footer. Actually, you know, I'm just going to copy it from uh, another web page. Always reuse when you can. So I've got my header, my nav, my footer, there we go, save it. So I've got my header with an h1, my nav with a ul, and four li's, each li is going to hold a link. And then I've got my footer with small print that says copyright 2012. Now in between the nav and the footer, I need to put my two columns. The columns are going to be created using divs. You might recall a couple of units back we talked about the div. The div is a basically naked, unstyled block level element that is going to be used to hold content. We use it as kind of a, a generic container. So it looks like this div opens, div closes. Now I need two of these sets of divs in order to make my two columns. This is going to be my first column and this is going to be my second column. I'm going to call these two divs uh, main content and sidebar. The sidebar might be used for things like advertisements or uh, uh, links to other things of, of interest. Maybe it's used for redundant navigation. There could be all sorts of reasons to do the sidebar. I'm going to put the sidebar on the right side and the main content on the left side. So if the main content is going to go on the left side, we read left to right, it has to come first in the order of our code. So the first set of divs, I'm going to add this ID. ID equals main content. And you see I separated main and content with an underscore. You don't have to do it that way, but it's a, it's a common way of doing things. I'm going to copy this, paste it down into the second div, and change this one into sidebar. So we've got div ID main content, div ID sidebar. Right now they, they do absolutely nothing for us until we actually style them and put some content in them. So I'm going to start by putting some content in them. In the main content, I'm going to put an article with an H2 and some paragraphs. So I'll get that from over here. Oops. Copy it and paste it in. So in my main content, I've got this article. The article has an H2. It's got a figure with an image and a fig caption. It's got one paragraph, two paragraphs, and then my article closes. Okay? So that's the content for my first div, which is called main content. Then I'm going to copy this again, and I'm going to put it in the sidebar. This is just placeholder stuff for now. It's just going to hold the place that I have something in there for my design so I can see what's going on. So I've got my paragraphs, my figure, my H2 um, inside of my article. and um, they're all nested inside of the sidebar. And you know what, I'm going to paste another one of these articles into 
main content. So I'll have two articles in main content, article one, article two, each one having an H2, a figure with an image and a fig caption, and a couple paragraphs. And then sidebar containing an article, H2, figure, a couple paragraphs. I'm going to save it and run it in the browser so you can see what it looks like. Right now it's totally unstyled. Here's my H1, here are my links, here's my subhead for the first article, here's an image, here's a captain, captain caption, um, and here's my two paragraphs, and then I've got the other article below it, and then I've got the last article there, and my footer. Right now it's totally unstyled, so that's why it looks like this. <clears throat> Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to, um, I'm going to style the, the figures just so that they work properly. So I'm going to go up to the style sheet. This should be review. We talked about this in a previous unit. Figure, width, 30%. I'm going to start by making the width of the figure 30%, so it'll take up 30% of its containing element. Okay. I'm going to set the figure image to 100%. Whoops, not image, IMG is what I want to set it to. So all images, all IMG tags that exist within figures are going to be set to 100%. All figures will be set to 30%. I'm going to put this in a style tag. Close my style tag. Save it. Refresh it and it should just shrink up those images a little bit. There we go. The images got a little bit smaller and they fit a little bit more nicely. Okay, so those figures and images are styled. Now I want to style the rest of it so that we get these two columns. So like I said before, our columns are going to be made up from the main content div on the left and the sidebar on the right. Now these two columns need to have widths between the two of them that will add up to 100% because we want them to sit nicely side by side on one line. So main content, maybe I'll do something like 70%, 30%. So I'm going to set the main content width to 70%. Now to select main content, I have to make sure that I have the number symbol and then main content. That's how you select all IDs, is with the number symbol. Save it. I'm going to copy the main content one and change it to sidebar. set this to 30%. So my sidebar will be 30% width. My main content will be 70% width. Save it, go to the browser and refresh it, and you should see them shrink down. Yep, you can see my, my main content is taking up 70% the width, and my sidebar is taking up 30% the width. See that? Kind of nice. Now how do we get them to be columns that sit side by side? In order to do that, we need to use a new property called float. There are several ways to do this. The way I like to do it is float left. I'm going to copy that and paste it into sidebar. So I'm going to set my main content to float left and my sidebar to float left. And what that's going to do is it's going to take them out of the flow of the document and it's going to force them as far over to the left as they can go. So watch what happens. My main content sits over on the left side, my sidebar sits over on the right. Now I've got one little problem left. See where my, my footer is? It says copyright 2012. It's no longer down at the very bottom. That's kind of a pain. 
I need to get the, the footer to go down at the very bottom. Now, floats behave in a strange sort of way. Like I said before, they take themselves out of the flow of the document, and anything that comes after them wants to move up until it finds um, the, the next bit of content. And in this case, it's the content right here in the sidebar. So our footer floated upwards, and we don't want that. We want the footer to sit down at the very bottom. So we have to do one last thing. We have to go to the footer and do something called clear it. We need to clear the footer. Set clear to left. That means nothing can sit on the left side of the footer. If I do that, it'll force the footer down to the very bottom. See that? So now I've got my header, I've got my links, I've got my left, I've got my right, and I've got my footer. And that's how you make a multi-column layout. So to review, in order to make a multi-column layout, really it comes down to this. You need two divs, um, one that's going to be on the left, one that's going to be on the right. You need to set their widths to values that will add up to 100%. You need to float them left and you need to clear the footer. If you can remember those, those five basic things, you're going to be able to make a simple two column layout anytime. Because then all you're doing is building all the other things onto it that we've done in the past. So good luck with this one.